I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king. Hallelujah, 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 Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Really a, a beautiful song, of course. Um, shows up in a ton of movies. There's countless covers of it. In fact, I'd like to revisit this song someday and cover Jeff Buckley's version, which I, I just uh, really love. But just like something that's advanced, you maybe want to start with sort of the, the structure of the song and look no further than Leonard Cohen's original in the key of C. Uh, some very nice arpeggios going on. You can have a, a flexibility with the part as I kind of did here where you you might want to change up the arpeggio and you know John Cale has a version where he's doing some piano arpeggios and he's also mixing it up and of course Jeff Buckley is wildly creative with his and it's just wonderful but you, you really can sort of mix it up. So I'll show you tips with that. We'll, we'll kind of go note for note how I recommend starting with it so you can have a dependable part, but then you might want to create some variations that open up the part a little bit, let it breathe a little bit. Because when you have these nice open chords, all the strings will work. So I could go like that, or I could go those middle strings. Uh, I could walk down to the A minor. Right? I could also speed up the arpeggio maybe by adding the thumb, almost like a House of the Rising Sun uh, kind of part, kind of nice. And then with the F, if you do the thumb over, you can kind of have a F sus2 um, and, and have that openness to it, even the F major seven. So you could avoid bar chords as well. So there, there's that for the, the only kind of tricky chord might be the E7 over G sharp when he says, uh, uh, hallelujah, for space in the lyric there. The baffled king, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, right? So there's E over G sharp. You could just do an E. So as we learn this, we'll start with the very basics and then we'll start layering on these variations. So apparently Leonard had many, many drafts of this song and it took him years to write. And apparently he had something like uh, dozens and dozens of, of drafts. And so really interesting, he really labored over these lyrics. Speaking of the lyrics, uh, you know, one thing I mentioned to my private students when we're talking about Roman numerals is I say, you know, think about Hallelujah, where Leonard Cohen is literally describing the Roman numerals of the key of C major when he goes, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth. Okay, and that's the fourth and fifth chord of the key of C, F and G right there. The fourth, there's the F chord, the fifth, G chord. And then when he says minor fall, it's the relative minor, which is the sixth chord. The minor fall and the major lift. And when he says major lift, that's the four chord, okay? Then when he says baffled king, composing, there's this secondary dominant. It's an E7 leading to A minor. So if you wanna see it even more clearly, I'll skip the, the first inversion E chord and just go straight to E. So the baffled king composing, 
there's an E7. Leading to a minor, so that's called a five of six. The six chord and it has its own five chord. Okay, so Leonard is teaching us music theory here with these lyrics. A lot of fun to play. The chord melody is quite tough because it's all up the neck. So um, I might tab out a simplified version of that on the Patreon. Speaking of the Patreon, do check that out. There'll be a full arrangement of this and uh, it's a wonderful song to play and might help you out to look at the, the sheet music, make it a little easier and the tabs and whatnot. So I'll have both the tabs and sheet music if you'd like to read it like a classical piece where you read the sheet music. It might be a fun challenge for you. And do check out the Patreon. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and leave a comment. It's always nice to say hello to you. And I hope you're doing well. Let's go ahead, zoom on in and learn this. All right, so one thing that's really important also is that we're in 6-8, right? So we're counting six beats per, per bar. Most times the chord is lasting one bar. Sometimes it's lasting three beats. So you can divide the bar in half and think two halves of three beats uh, if you're doing two chords per bar. All right, so knowing that actually will help you with part writing if you want to write different arpeggio parts, knowing that six beats uh, will, will be an advantage. All right, so here we're going to go C. And notice I'm playing thumb on the fifth string and then third, second, first, second, third, equaling six beats right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to move everything down a string for the G. Sixth, fourth, third, second, third, fourth. So it's, that's the intro, do that twice. Okay, now let's add the bass part if you're interested. It would be the second time, or both times. I'm gonna go C, like that. Op totally optional, but I'm gonna go fifth, third, second, first, second and sixth together, third and sixth string together, but I'm gonna go thumb, first fret. Uh, and then G, like that. Kind of tricky, so <laughs> totally optional. Um, now we're at the verse. Let me play it first, then we'll talk about it. Okay, another optional thing here. Notice I'm going in the bass between C and A minor with a B note, so I'm going. Okay. All right, so that might be a little tricky and totally optional, especially for singing. Feel free to throw that out. Just go, right? Just go back and forth. Sometimes less is more. All right, so that's the first uh, phrase there. Then we have F. I'm gonna recommend the thumb because it allows you other options like major seven or F sus two. So here's just a regular F, so you could bar it, but uh, six, fourth, third, second, third, fourth. Right. G, same thing. And then C. And then G. If you want to spice up that C to G, you can go. Okay, so I'm going to go C, and then on the G open string, over F sharp, which sounds very tense for a split second. Then you go to G and then over the G string, hit the second fret bass, the B bass. So that would all be together. Into the pre-chorus. All right, so that's the entire verse. Let's run the verse and then we'll do the pre-chorus next, which is, which is when he says it goes like this, the fourth to fifth. I'll hum the melody so you can hear it. Uh, one, two, three. Well, I heard there was a secret chord Da 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 Okay, again, bass notes are totally optional, so feel free to just play it with one bass note and then five arpeggio notes. And the bass notes are a kind of fun way to add on to it if you want. Pre-chorus, we're gonna do C. Now we come to two chords per bar. Now you're welcome to just go, like for instance, um, six, four, third, six, third, second, is a is nice option. Or third, second strings both time. That's nice too. But I decided to speed it up there, so my arrangement's gonna go, oh, sorry. 
So that's going to be a little bit of a hiccup there. So sixth, third, second, for, uh, fourth, third, second. Same thing on the G. So those are 16th notes on the second beat and fifth beat. All right, so that would be pre-chorus. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, like that. Now A minor normal, F normal. Okay, then G normal. Now you could do E7 if you want. Just sixth, fourth, third, second, third, fourth. But my arrangement goes to this inversion here. So I'm going to go four, mute, two, four, oh, oh, play six, third, second, first, second, third. Now A minor. Now strum it. Uh, uh, and then you can go over G on the fourth beat there. So one, two, uh, one, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's on the fifth beat. All right. So let's run the entire uh, pre-chorus. One, two, three, four. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, now on the chorus, we're going to do the same thing where we're going to speed up the arpeggio just to add a little bit of energy. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of, you know, you can just do the bar, but you'll see why I'm doing this fingering in a sec, because I'm going to want to do an F sus 2 on the next bar. So, Halle, sixth, and now I'm going to bring the thumb over, fourth, third, second, first, second, third. Now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to lift the middle finger and have this nice sus 2 sound. So that's optional. You can ignore that, but let's run that. One, two, four, five, six, one, two. Okay. Last thing to add would be bass note on the very last note to go to A minor. So that would be, uh, okay, so let's do that slow. So both bars. Okay, now A minor. And again, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, second, third. Oops, uh, messed up there. So that would be. Um, yeah, that's what I did. So that would be A minor. And then you go down the A minor chord, but you hit the G bass on the, on the fifth beat there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Last, last phrase here, F. We're going to go F major seven just for fun. Now back to F sus two. I happen to like that on the, when I was recording. So let's do that. Now C, same pattern, okay? I'm oh, sorry. All right, but to add on to that, add uh, that we'll have to have some bass notes. Sorry, I can't talk tonight. Okay, a little tricky there. So that's C. Now se uh, second and sixth string together, and then third string and first fret bass together. So. And G, bring that thumb back to the fourth string for your arpeggio. Back to the intro. Okay, so let's run the whole chorus. One, two, three, four. It goes, uh, sorry, <laughs> wrong lyrics. One, two, three, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, we made it. Then it just repeats, all right? So, um, the tab might help on the Patreon, but I'm gonna probably take a couple days and write out uh, a chord melody arrangement. So, it won't be up right away, but give it a couple days from publishing date and I'll have that chord melody sort of simplified and written. And uh, that'll be available there if you wanna check that out. So anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoy. Remember to go nice and slow. Finger style can be tempting to just rip along, but 
it's kind of a ballad, right? And so we want to respect the tempo of the song, go nice and slow, enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy. There's too many times I've said enjoy in 30 seconds. That's time for me to go. All right, see you next time. Bye.